Polenta. I grew up on it once a week. Uh, we did a very simple polenta. We just added vegetable stock or chicken stock. I added the polenta and grated cheese afterwards. We've kind of incorporated some of the other flavors of the Mediterranean to do a little polenta appetizer served over a cold salad. So hot polenta over a cold salad. We have plenty of ingredients here. We have our, our cornmeal, which we're going to use last, some cilantro, basil, red onions, chipotle peppers with some sweet, a sweet potato that's been roasted in the oven and mashed, some mascarpone cheese. And then our salad, spinach, tomatoes, red onions, garlic, salt, pepper, and lemon, just a simple salad. Let's throw that together because we want our salad flavors just to combine right before we uh, serve this. So we're going to take our spinach and our tomato, our red onions, pinch of garlic, if you like a lot of garlic, two pinches, some salt, some fresh pepper. This is simple, very, very simple salad. You can use this for a lot of bases on things you have. Some extra virgin olive oil, we'll mix that all up. And we're just gonna hit, hit it with a hint of lemon juice. We hold the lemon up so we don't get any seeds in there. And that is perfect. We'll use our salt later on, so we put it right there. And this is our salad, a little citrusy garlic, onion, spinach. Let's just put this over to the side and we're going to use that in a second. We're just going to add in our ingredients. We have vegetable stock. I'm going to add in some of the ingredients that we're going to use. Put in some red onion. We'll put in, ah, where did my spoon go? I'm going to steal this one back. Some sweet potatoes that I roasted for about an hour in the oven of 350 and we've mashed up. This is a sweet potato polenta, so this is one of our main ingredients. That's chipotle. We need very, 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 very little. Chipotle is a smoked, smoked jalapeno. I'm just going to use some of the sauce. It comes out of a can. It come, you could buy them in the can or you could buy them dried. They're smoked and dried. Uh, buying them in the can is easy to find. It's very tough to find them dried in this area. So what you would do is just uh, get it from the can and use very little, unless you like a lot of spice. So we're just going to whisk all that in. We'll get all those incorporated, break up the sweet mashed potatoes. Everyone knows sweet mashed potato, what it looked like before we started. And some mascarpone. And we'll just get that in and mix that in too. The mascarpone cheese is a sweet Italian cream cheese. It mixes very well and melts very well. So we'll get that all, all those flavors in there. We'll add a little salt and pepper. And right at the end, we're going to add a little bit of fresh herbs to this, too. Uh, since we're going to let that boil, I just want to get our salad on our plate and get that ready. Let's just we'll mix it up just a little bit more. You've got to love your hands, don't you? Get right. This is just for me today. So I'll just put as much as I like. Get that going. You could serve the polenta cold or hot. You could warm it up after it's been served. We're going to serve it soft or hard also. We could serve, uh, we're going to serve it soft right now and just pour it right into the middle of this. Appetizer. And just like mashed potatoes, if people don't like clumpy, you want to try and make this as smooth as possible. So a little at a time, we add our polenta. And nice and slow and take your time with it. A whisk works well. I've always, uh, in the past, always had a, a wooden spoon with it. That was the uh, big thing my grandmother used to make it with, and she used to love a wooden spoon. But a whisk incorporates it that much quicker and gets it to cook down. If you look at the polenta, you'll see how it's already starting to get nice and creamy. It's gone from the texture of a watery substance to more creamy substance. And that's the polenta cooking in to the water. From time to time, you should check this and taste it to make sure it's smooth. Uh, the only clumps you should taste in a polenta are, um, are the clumps if you have the, the, roast, the roasted sweet potato. If it's a little, uh, still a little hard, you should get that. But the actual polenta or the cornmeal itself should be nice and dissolved. And in this case, we are 
almost exactly where we want to be. By whisking it in, we've cooked it down. Polenta cooks very quickly. And depending on the consistency you want, you add more polenta to water. We've actually done one part of polenta to about two parts of our liquid. And that's worked out just fine for us in what I'm showing you right now. Let's see. Let me see how that's basically come together. Oh, that's wonderful. Look at that. We're going to reduce the heat on this just a little bit. What I just like to do, and my favorite way to eat polenta, is first put in our fresh herbs, which I want to chop up, which I almost forgot because I wanted to eat this so badly. Last minute fresh herbs. When you do dry herbs, you put them in ahead of time. When you do fresh herbs, you put them in near the end. You want a nice coarse chop on that. Just opening them up so to get the flavors. Let's mix that in too. Whoa. Look how it's already just staying together. We could basically shut this off and it's ready to serve. This is absolutely wonderful. And we have an amazing polenta dish. And wait till you see how this comes together right over the salad. This is great as an appetizer. Different textures, different colors. If you like to do just a, a little more uh, salad dressing that you made up with the lemon, what I love to do right at the end on a good polenta is to pour just a little bit of olive oil over the top. Extra virgin olive oil just to go over the top. We used basil, so let's chop up just a little more basil. And voila. We have sweet potato polenta, little chipotle, just to spice it up a bit. Can't forget this. The king of all cheeses just makes it that much better. Look at that. That's incredible. Can't go wrong with a little Parmigiano cheese. And if you want, you throw a little bit in there too. You can never put enough cheese in anything you use. Trust me. I go through one of these a day, I think. So enjoy your sweet potato polenta for your guests or for yourself. Great summer or wintertime dish.